Hi, in this video I'm going to be covering two products. Essentially they are pretty similar, I don't think it deserves two separate videos, so I thought I'd combine them into one video, and I've got them both here. So the first one is the Beko CIFY71W, and then below we've got the CIFY81X. Now initially you look at them and you think it's probably the colour that's the main difference, but there are one or two other differences. But all I would normally say, just for a start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. I just want to give you a quick overview of both of the ovens. Uh, so first one, the CIFY71. As you can see, it's got the white fascia, it's got the white handle. Uh, and one of the main differences compared to the model below, the 81, is that you've actually got three controls on here. Now dimension-wise, they are pretty standard, but I will just have a measure for you. Uh, you've got so 59.5 centimeters, so just under 23 and a half inches wide, and then as far as the height, you're looking at 59 centimeters, around 23 and a quarter inches. Now you should find that that is quite a standard size for a single oven, but nevertheless, I'd always recommend just having a quick measure, just to make sure that that will fit in. Don't forget that is the physical size of the oven. The aperture that it will sit in is always going to be a little bit smaller because uh, what you have got, you have got a couple of holes in there. So when it comes to installing them, all you need to do is just pop a couple of screws in there. That just holds the oven in place. So I've just zoomed into the fascia to make it a little bit easier for everyone to see. Uh, now, first of all, you've got the temperature on the right hand side here. As you can see, it goes from 50 degrees all the way up to 250 degrees. Uh, so it's quite a, quite a high temperature. Uh, not many ovens tend to go that hot now, uh, but it's really I'm really pleased to see that Beko have put 50 degrees on here. That can be really good. It can be used as either uh, to warm plates, or even more importantly, if you do uh, make bread or things like pizza bases, then it can be used to to prove in there as well at around 50 degrees. I know it, it tends to be a little bit cooler than that. It'd normally be around 30 to 40 degrees, but at least you've still got the option on here. You have got a timer on here, so if you want to set the timer up to a maximum of 90 minutes, then all you need to do is just turn the dial, and then when it finishes, just try that again. So when it finishes, it will ding at you. So that's quite quite a good little feature. Uh, if you just want to, if you not don't worry about a timer, just set it over to the infinity symbol there. On the left hand side, You've got the program selection, uh, so depending on what you wanted. So first of all, that is just the oven lamp. So if you wanted to clean the oven, and if you wanted light in there, then that's really the one to select. I know I've had quite a few customers ask me why that is on there, uh, but it just gives some illumination uh, rather than having any heat on. The next one on there, so with that one, that's operating with fan. Uh, so the oven is not heated. Uh, it's just the fan, uh, basically things like frozen food, it can slowly defrost at a room temperature, um, that could be a, a good option to use. Uh, and that's just rather than having any heating, so that's a good defrosting option. The next one, that's the fan heating. So the hot air is heated by the fan heater and it's distributed equally and rapidly throughout the oven with the fan. Uh, that's good for multi-level cooking as well. Then the next option on here, that's the full grill. So that's the large grill in the oven ceiling. That's when that works and it's suitable for grilling large amounts. And then as you go to the fan assisted full grill, so that's the hot air is heated by the large grill and it's quickly distributed into the oven with the fan. It's suitable for grilling large amounts again. So quite a good, a good range of programs on here. Just to open the door, you can see you've got the two shelves in here and then you've got the tray at the bottom. Clearly this is in the showroom environment at the moment, so it's still got all the, the packaging and the tape and everything on it, which you wouldn't have when you've got it at home. Uh, but what I will do is I will just measure the cavity for you and the trays, because I know for some people, if you've got an existing tray or dish or something, then you want to know what the size is. So just on the inside, you're looking at around 45 centimeters or just around 17, 17 and a half inches, put my teeth back in, it's around 17 and a half inches width. And then the height of it, it is, so around 35 centimeters or just under 14 inches. All of these come out, so it's nice and easy to take them out to, to clean them. 
and you've got the grill rack, uh, the grill pan at the bottom. Uh, you can also take that off if you want to, so just use it as a main oven rack. When it comes to cleaning the door, it can be really easy. When it comes to cleaning the door and the oven, it's really easy. All you need to do is, if you want to take the glass out, then just unclip at the top here. So this will all unclip, just pulls off, and then you can actually take this glass, the internal glass out. Uh, personally, I think it's a much better way of doing things rather than having to bring a cloth over and clean it here. Uh, the good thing is that you can go and pop that in the dish dishwasher. Uh, just make sure that's nice and clean. And then when it's fully dry, just come and pop the glass back on, pop the cap back on the top there, then you're ready to go. As we go to the bottom oven, so this is the CIFY81X, uh, some of the controls are similar, where you've got the temperature on the right here. So again, it goes from 50 degrees up to 250. Uh, so again, I'm pleased that they've kept that on the, on the right hand side there, the same as the top oven. Uh, the controls on the left hand side, again, are very similar. So first of all, you've just got the uh, oven lamp. That's just the oven lamp on. Then the second one, you've got the operating with fan, but there's no heat. Then the one at the bottom there, you've got the fan heating. And as you come round to the left hand side, you've got the full grill. And then you've got the fan assisted grill at the top left there. So as far as those two controls, they are basically the same as the top oven, the CIFY71. The main thing that tends to vary is the display. So you do have a display in the middle here. Unfortunately, I haven't got it connected, so I can't actually show you it at the moment. Uh, but I suppose you just have to take my word for it that it has got the LED display on there. But this is all touch control. So once you've, once you've got it installed, at the moment, we've just got our cover on there just to protect it. Uh, I suppose when it's in transit and just being unboxed. So once you've got it installed, take that off and then you've got a nice clear LED display. And first of all, you've got the alarm key, then you've got the time setting key. Next one is the decrease and increase key. Uh, they keep calling these keys rather than just standard buttons. Then you've got the different settings on here and then you've got the key lock symbol. Key lock can be quite good uh, if you've got children in the house that like to come along and move dials or uh, play with buttons then if you just press and hold that for a couple of seconds that just locks the program in place so it just means that little fingers can't come and change it which can be really frustrating if you got your Sunday dinner uh, cooking away and if one of the children came along and turned it off then that can be a bit annoying so I'm really glad that they've put the key lock symbol on there uh, but there's quite a bit you can do uh, within the settings. As we open the door at the bottom, uh, similar layout for the door. So when it comes to cleaning it, exactly the same principle as the one above. What you need to do is just take this off. So take the top cap off, the glass will come out. That enables you to give it a good clean. Also the shelf arrangements and positions are the same as the model above. And I'll just show you as far as the size is. So that's, yeah, 45 centimeters and then around 35 as well. It's the same capacity, so both the ovens have a 66 litre capacity. That's identical on both. Uh, and again, at the bottom here, if you want to take that out, you can just take the, take the grill rack out and you can just have the, the bottom one as a, an oven tray as well. So I'm, again, I'm really pleased that Beko have given us that uh, because not all manufacturers will give you a, a new tray. Sometimes you have to buy it separately. I'll just show you the energy label on both the models. As you can see, they are basically identical. So they are both an A rating, uh, both at 0.79 kilowatt hours per cycle, just proving that they are both 66 litre capacity. So I suppose a lot of people, uh, when it comes to the difference, it's mainly the color, uh, but also you've got the better display on the CIF81X. If you are thinking of buying one of these ovens, I have provided a couple of links below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I know it is quite a quick one. Uh, I've not gone into too much detail about the, some of the programs and things, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of both of the ovens. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any questions on either of them, as you can see, I've got them on display here. Uh, also, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up 
and I do is appreciate feedback on the video. If there's something I've missed, if there's something you wanted to see, apart from me doing a full cooking demonstration on it, but if there's something you wanted to see, if you've got any questions, then again, just pop it in the comments. Also, if you have got one of these, or if you have got a Beko uh, oven, so a single oven like this, or even one of the double ovens integrated, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.